Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got another track slash drag race battle. I've got my good friend John Holbrook with me. Good to see you, Joe. Good to see you, mate. Thanks for coming down. Yep. John is actually the owner of that F82 M4 competition, and I have the very latest G82 M4 competition. Let's run through the specs, but before we do that, I want to say a massive shout out and thanks to Drift Limits. That's where we are. They're based just outside of London. I suggest you check out the link in the description and look at what these guys do. John, tell us a little bit about your F82 M4 competition. So I've got a 2019 F82 M4 comp pack. Got a couple of options on it, went for a pretty stripped out spec. So yeah, it has the S55, it's a three litre inline six, twin turbo, produces 450 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. It does have the seven speed DCT gearbox, which I think is the big difference between yeah. the two cars here. It's a little bit greasy today, so it'll be interesting. Most important thing is, John's actually recently fitted, as in literally a week ago. Yeah, a week ago. Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. In terms of rubber, at least, it's gonna be very fair getting off the line. Quick refresher of what I have with me. It's the brand new G82 M4 competition. Under the bonnet, it has a S58, which is a three litre inline six twin turbo. So very similar to what John has, but it's producing 510 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. So 100 newton meters more torque than what John has. I don't think I'm gonna need that extra bit of torque today, <laughs> um, but it's also a little bit heavier as I'm sure most of you are aware of. And this doesn't have a seven speed DCT box. It has an eight speed automatic gearbox, the brilliant ZF eight speed. So completely different launch control system and it actually launches in second gear when you activate launch control. For those of you that are new to this track drag race style battle, I'm actually gonna jump in John's older M4 and do a few laps around this tight handling circuit to set a lap time. I'll take the newer one out and see if it's any quicker. And then we'll do the good old fashioned drag races, three runs up the runway behind me Good luck, mate. Good luck, mate. Cheers. Okay, guys, here we are in John's lovely F82 M4 competition. So this is a 2019 model, the predecessor to the new G82 that I have. Let's go and do three warm laps and then one hot lap and see what this car's like, see what sort of lap time we can set in that time. I've got it in MDM and I'll be doing the gear changing using the paddles here. DCT seven speed, remember. Well, it sounds good in here. I know some people aren't the biggest fan of how their S55 sounds, but I think it sounds really good. The M4, well, what a piece of kit. Very different feeling to the new one. But the propulsion, I mean, it's just fantastic. Really, really good. Right, that's the first, first warm lap. <laughs> it feels very, very good, this car. I have to say, it's completely stock. We've got PS4S's on it though. So well balanced. In fact, John was saying earlier on that he's just had the tracking done on this car. Massive thanks, John. This is a awesome you lending me this car. I've known John for years, actually. We used to race mountain bikes about 18 years ago together. He's very handy on a bike. Pretty 
good lap, fairly clean. Let's see what John, the owner, tells us the time is. I reckon it's going to be about 29 and a half seconds. 29 and a half seconds? 29.01. 29.01, wow. I was noticing a bit of uh, understeer on that last lap. So let's go and set a benchmark time in the newer M4 competition and see what that does. I reckon it will be about a second quicker, but 29 flat, that's really impressive. Okay guys, here we go in the brand new G82 M4 competition. I know this is gonna set around a 28 second lap time, but to make it fair, we're gonna do it in the same conditions that I've just been out in John's. Now I'm gonna do one warm up lap and then straight into it. I've got MDM on, obviously I've got the eight speed auto in this car compared to the seven speed DCT. Yeah, here we go. up on this first lap feels very different I feel like I'm sitting so much lower it's just the front end in this car is just quite extraordinary it feels heavier it definitely feels heavier but yeah the front end is just mighty it's going to be around a 28 second it's hard to tell really hard to tell John I'm gonna guess that was about 28 second 2882 2882 okay yeah. so actually only two tenths of a second quicker than your car yeah not a lot in it it's funny I actually found it more difficult this time to manage this car around there almost like your car had the perfect balance I don't know if you pushed this harder or backed off on mine but that looked more planted in the f82 it, it yeah it, it just stuck it, to the floor it felt really balanced your car and i got back in this and not that this doesn't feel balanced but i think the grip levels are so high that when it does go it's almost a bit snappier but um well i'm glad that it's a little bit quicker <laughs> <laughs> but um but it's interesting that it, we're only talking a few tenths of a second yeah. um so yeah very very interesting cool right on to the drag race new m4 versus old m4 same rear tires dct seven speed zf eight speed it's dried out out there so we shouldn't have too many traction issues but i say that this has been difficult all day actually even though it launches in second gear right i'm going to give jack the thumbs up Got a bit of a jump on John. Oh. <laughs> Beep. There we go. Now we're pulling on him. Now we're going. Now we're going. And over the line, 110 miles an hour. Wow. I got off the line a bit quicker than him, but then the gap seemed to grow a little bit. So maybe on this next one, I might actually let John just get the jump on me just to see because it'd be a good comparison of speeds so John it looked like I was slightly quicker off the line uh, but then when we got going they looked very similar how did it feel from where you were sitting about a second after we started I started going sideways <laughs> so that, that's that's what happened that time at which point I backed off um, yeah <laughs> okay guys here we go run two I think John had some traction issues on the first run, so hopefully he can engage launch control and we can both get off the line as well as each other. I'll give Jack the thumbs up. Oh, I'm just smoking my tires up now. <laughs> So yeah, ah, John got off the line lovely, 
This seemed to initially get off the line well, and then it just starts smoking up its rear tires. It's really struggling. Once it gets top a second, it just breaks traction, so. Oh, John, so again, I think I just pipped you off the line, and I was looking across and like, oh, this is gonna be great, and then suddenly, just as you started pulling alongside me, my rears just started spinning up, and um, and then and then you, you just disappeared, and I couldn't keep up, so yeah. So we take from that that the F82 is better than the G82, do we? <laughs> Absolutely, put some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's on the back of your G82, or F82 even, and uh, yeah, it's every bit as quick. Well, we'll do one more run. Uh, I really hope we can both get off the line fairly well. I'm gonna be less aggressive with the throttle this time. Okay, mate, sounds good. Okay, third and final run. Jack from Auto ID actually just suggested that we swap lanes, which is a great idea because I've been in that all day and I have been struggling. So I think especially for this drag race, which is gonna be very close no matter which way you look at it, it's a good idea that I do try it in the left-hand lane. So I'm gonna give Jack a thumbs up, ready to go for the final run. Here we go. is definitely no quicker than the F82 over this 300 meter distance. I think you would notice that extra power and torque maybe past the 300 meter distance, this would probably have its legs. I would agree, towards the end, you were starting to pull away slightly. I'd have said if we if we were doing a full mile, you'd have had it. Scores on the doors. What was that last run like, close? <laughs> what a shot! Look at that! Mate, that's amazing! That was like 112 miles an hour you managed to get that. <laughs> um, wow, cool. Very close. Thanks, Fellini. Thank you very much. <clears throat> well, yeah, the photo finish there was uh, massively close, John. Like, there was probably half a car length in it. Um, but as I say, I think I'm going to summarise by saying that I actually believe that there's very little between the two cars and hats off to the older F82 because it was as quick as this car is on the track. Okay, a couple of tenths in it. Um, and in a straight line, well, we'll take that, we'll take that. The G82 is an evolution on the F82. There's absolutely no doubt that as a car, the G82 is a step up in terms of cabin, in terms of looks, the presence on the road. I mean, out of everything here today, that car just looks amazing. And I was a massive, I was massively against that grill until I saw it. And all I can say is it doesn't look as big as it does in the pictures. It looks right on the car. Well, yeah, that's really interesting to hear that, mate. Um, and I do say that a lot on my channel that people have to try and hold their judgment until they see one of these in the flesh. Um, I'm certainly completely used to it now, but I still think that your car is a better looking car. It's gonna be a rolling race, 30 miles an hour upwards. We're in full automatic, traction control turned on as is John's DCT car. So we're gonna get up to 30 miles an hour. Okay, three, two, one, go. So mine was slower off the mark. <laughs> now this time, manual, uh, second gear. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so that was interesting. When you take the slightly laggier ZF gearbox out of the equation, this car is definitely quicker. It picks up quicker and then it just goes a bit stronger. I think that was the most graphic display of the extra power and torque in the newer uh, M4 competition. John, thanks so much for coming down today. Thanks for letting me rag your car around and uh, it's been really interesting, um, but really appreciate it. 
A pleasure, my pleasure. I hope everybody enjoys watching the comparison. Just want to say a massive thanks to Drift Limits. Check them out in the description below. And Cal, who has been doing a lot of the filming today. Fantastic photographer and videographer. Make sure you check him out in the description below. Jack from Auto ID. My good friend Rolini as well, who's been helping out with the camera and all sorts of stuff. Couldn't have done it without everyone, so thank you so much, and I will see you at the next video.